Hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's video. In this video, I want to talk to you about what are the important topics in medicine for your upcoming INICT that is to be held in May 7. So a lot of students message me, sir, how should we complete medicine? Medicine is so vast. We are not able to complete it and we don't have time remaining for the other subjects to complete. So first of all, if you don't have time to complete medicine, leave it. Medicine not so important as far as your NEET PG is concerned. Sorry, as far as your INICT is concerned, INICT focuses more on first and second pro subjects. And so you should fo focus more on them. If you don't have time for medicine, leave it. However, if you have time for medicine, you have completed other subjects and you can spare two to three days for medicine. So do watch this video. I'll tell you the important topics in medicine that has been asked previously and just do those and give the exam. No uh, other questions most likely will be asked from the remaining topics. So just a brief introduction about me before I start the important topics. I'm Dr. Rishab Jain, 2012 batch Amesonian from Ames, New Delhi. I did my post-graduation in radiology from PGI Chandigarh and my senior residency in radiology from Ames, Delhi. So uh, before I tell you the important topics, let me tell you that I actually sat down and did the previous questions of medicine of the last five years and noted down each topic from each subspeciality year wise. And what I found was mind boggling what that aims us frequently the same topics again and again. And uske lava pa kuch nahi pooch raha hai, hai? So you have a list of topics that is asked again and uske lava don't try to read anything else if you don't have time, especially in these 30 to 40 days that are left with you, right? So what are the important topics? By the way, I've shared this uh, table with you guys for free on my online store. If you want to check out, you want to have the glimpse of this table, you can download it for free or on my online store. I'll put a link in the comment section and the description. So first of all, emergencies. Aims in medicine ask only emergencies. Uh, what are the emergencies? MI, super important, has been asked multiple times. Arrhythmias, ECG, ECG will definitely get two questions, one from diagnosis, other from management of arrhythmias. And I think ECG is best given um, in first aid in a crisp form. I had made my own notes of ECG uh, in such a form. I'll show you how I made ECG notes. So there's this book uh, called the only EKG book you'll ever need. I read it during my MBBS. And at the end of that book, you know, they have this a summary of all the important findings in ECG that are important as an MBBS student. And so I had used that and added some extra points to complete my ECG chota saat page ka information. You can again check it out uh, from my online store. I put the PDF there. You can download it from there. But that is where I read from ECG from. Uh, whatever source you have read ECG, it's coach your coaching notes, some YouTube videos, uh, stick to that. Don't go to any new source because ECG takes time to read. Uh, I think ACLS is one manual. So ACLS is American is a advanced cardiac life support uh, manual, and you can download it for free online from pdfdrive.com, and uh, it has an algorithmic algorithmic management of various arrhythmias. So for example, PSVT. How will you manage? AF ka patient, cardiac arrest ka patient, what is the algorithm? And that is how AIMS ask questions, you know. That is how AIMS will ask what will be the next step of management. And I think ACLS manual uh, will help you know the management algorithm so that you can get your questions right, right? Again, electrolyte abnormality is very important for your INI. Best, in my opinion, are given in OP guide textbook of pediatrics. They mention the management along with the ECG findings and the clinical findings. That is where I read electrolyte abnormalities from. Now, acid-base abnormalities, super, super important. You'll get two to three questions, at least two questions from acid-base imbalance. Where did I read it from? I read it from Thameen Sir's notes. I attended first class during my MBBS. You can find uh, the link to the notes again in the uh, my play, uh, my product store. I have put a link, uh, I put the file there, my th uh, medicine notes. So you can find ABG analysis from there. Now GCS calculation is something that has been asked multiple times in INI, will be asked multiple times. You cannot uh, afford to not do it. And very simple to calculate GCS if you know the score, how to calculate it. So don't forget to read GCS calculation. Again, SAH, 
coma, brain death, raved ICP management, important topics. Ascites pleural effusion has been asked multiple times. Their analysis, what does uh, each finding tells you? The SAG, low, high SAG has been asked multiple times. Cardiac tamponade, ECG findings, clinical findings. Pneumothorax, super important. Tension pneumothorax, pneumothorax, it's management. Now, lines, tubes, cannula, needles and vials. It is something which is INI specific. INI is obsessed with it. Where did I learn it from? I just did my internship. And during that time, I made a note that uh, I take photos of important lines and tubes. And I had a folder in my phone in which I had taken pictures from Google, from Google images and taken snapshots in one folder so that I can recall it quickly during my last 10 day revision. Again, shock, super important. Thyroid storm, uh, endocrine emergencies like thyroid storm, mixed edema, DKA, uh, hyperosmotic hyperglycemic coma, super important. Asthma, COPD, pneumonia, and pulmonary embolism in respiratory system. And in GI, emergencies like upper GI and lower GI bleed are important. And where to read these two from, I'll recommend you to read it from American College of Gastroenterology Guidelines. They are available for free on their website. Uh, like bleeding in upper GI and ulcer, it gives an algorithmic approach. How, what is the next step based on the endoscopic findings? What will you do? It tells you that. So these are the things that are after an AIMS, uh, uh, AIMS medicine. Now surgical emergencies I've also mentioned here because we are talking about emergencies now. Uh, perforation, obstruction, pancreatitis, important surgical emergencies that are asked. And trauma, trauma is something you cannot afford to lose. I think a lot of students already know that trauma is very important from AIMS and INI. Uh, and you have to know head to toe trauma. Now, wherever you have read trauma from, wherever your source was, whether it's coaching notes, a lot of coachings do teach trauma really well now. So you can read trauma from there. If you want to complete trauma in its entirety, you are thinking that, okay, a lot of questions are asked from trauma. Let me complete trauma. So I think ATLS manual, uh, is one uh, source which gives you a complete trauma. However, it is a little too much. I would, I would say it, around 400 pages. You don't have time right now to read it. So just focus on your coaching notes. All right. Uh, apart from emergencies, very few topics are remaining which are asked from other sub subspecialities of medicine like neuro. You'll get a question on lesion localization. They'll give you a history. They'll give you clinical findings and ask you to localize the lesion. Whether it's in the spinal cord, it's in peripheral nerves, it's uh, plexus, pace, or it's in the brain. Apart from that, multiple mal uh, multiple sclerosis and neuromyelitis optica pe questions I have. In hemat, most of hemat is covered in pathology. Specific medicine hematology is related to blood transfusion. What are the type of products? How much to give it? How to preserve them? What are the blood transfusion reactions you have to take care? Questions puche gaye spe aayenge. Multiple myeloma pe question aaya hai ki classification and diagnostic criteria kya hai? Tumor lysis syndrome pe question aaya hai ki electrolyte abnormalities kya hoti hai? Management kaise karoge? Endo mein apart from endocrine emergencies, diabetes an important topic. Drugs that will cover in uh, pharma. I'd also suggest you to integrate some medicine aspect of drugs while reading pharma and then targets of management kya hota hai? and especially diabetic food surgically important hai. rest of the uh, medicine jo bhi systemic medicine hai jada focus mat karo on pe most of it will be covered during your path pharma micro and uh, biochem reading try to integrate uh, pre previous questions of medicine while you are reading path pharma specially okay and if you have someone who's reading first aid, you'll get to know that a lot of medicine is covered in first aid itself. Okay. So try to read medicine in an integrated manner, especially for a systemic medicine while reading path and pharma. Okay. So this was about uh, medicine, important topics. And that's all for today. Thank you.